Okay, this is a tutorial for water marbleizing. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is a key. Just a little Brinks key that opens my shed. Right, you're going to need a shot glass full of water. You need to make sure and use bottled water because tap water will not work. For some reason it messes it up. You're going to need a toothpick, cotton swab, fingernail polish, and that's about it. Oh, and a little tape. You're gonna, first, you're going to clean your key and get it all ready to go so the paint will stick. And you're going to tape up the area of the key that you do not want to get fingernail polish on. I use this green painter's tape because my husband is a painter, so it's just what's lying around. Uh, you can use scotch tape. It works fine. You're just going to want to tape off the area. I like to leave an edge out like this so that you can grab it and just pull it off real quick. I get it a little straighter there. Okay, just like that. You're going to want to make sure and shake up your fingernail polish real good. It needs to be pretty runny. You really cannot use old fingernail polish for this because it's just too lumpy. You're going to take and get a good bit of fingernail polish on your stick and just drop it down into your water. You'll see it just kind of spreads out and you're just going to repeat with the other colors. I like the way three colors looks, just personal preference. You can really use whatever you want. Just continue on dropping the paint in your glass. I'm going to do each color twice. Oops. That one didn't get quite in the middle, but the great thing about this is, is it doesn't have to be an exact science, so you can mess up. The next thing you're going to do is take your toothpick and your cotton swab. You're going to take your toothpick and come in here and grab just on the outside edges of your polish in four or five places and kind of just put your toothpick in right there and just swipe up and through, just like that. And that kind of anchors the color to the edges of your shot glass so you can have more freedom with your design. So for me, on my designs, I just kind of start close to the edge and I swipe in. Kind of pull the color together like um, flower petals. And you're just going to go in here and repeat that process until you have the desired look that you want. Okay. Then you're going to take your key and you're going to put it down in the color. Now what you're going to want to do, say this side of the key needs color, you're going to turn it over, swipe it down and into your color. If it were your fingernail you're doing, you kind of want to start with your fingernail, you know, upside down, put it in and swipe down and through the water. So we're just going to go ahead and do that now. So now you've got your key in the water and you're just going to hold it there for a little bit. Um, the paint, the, the rest of the fingernail paint polish, here we go, it's still left on the surface there. And if you were to pull your key back up, well, it would pretty much just mess up your design. So you've got to allow time for that fingernail polish on the top of the surface to dry. Once it's dry, you'll go in with your toothpick and you'll just swipe it up off the top of the surface. and it comes right up if it's dry. It just comes right onto your, um, to your toothpick like that. So you're just going to pull your key out of the water. You might have to shake it off just a little. may have some water on it. And take your tape and remove it. Just like that. And you just want to take your key and lay it on a paper towel. There's the one we just did, it's still a little wet, and there's I did some I did some earlier. And after it gets good and dry, you're just gonna want to take some clear fingernail polish, swipe over it, it makes them last a lot longer, they won't chip off near as quickly. Um hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks.